After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Another night in the streets, another night in this hell. I've been kicking and tripping, the cops just threw me in jail. Got my fingers in ink, they got my head under lights. Dear Lord, please get me out of this jail tonight. Just get me out, just get me out. People may think our job's boring, but we have so many people that come through with different stories. Some are pretty interesting. A lot of people come in, they're having a bad day, or they're angry, and I've got to be able to adjust my mood to try to bring them down, and you just got to be very flexible. What do you do for a living? Um, I'm an escort. Just explains the outfit tonight. Yeah. Up on the wall? Hand on the wall? Yes, please. So what exactly do escorts do? I escort like celebrities and stuff. Oh. You have to work up to that. You have to like start at a certain level. My mom owns a car business, so she give me her clientele list. That's nice of your mom. Yeah. <laughs> do you have to give her like a percentage? Ten percent. You do? I make five grand a night. So Does that make your mom your pimp? <laughs> yeah. That's funny. Do you know I just got out five hours ago? Did you really? Yeah. You were just here last night? Yeah. So what happened tonight? How'd you get caught tonight? Um, this limo tried to charge me $120 to go five miles, and I went and him. Five miles? That's pretty expensive. Let's go to this row, all the way down to the very last chair. This row. Why are there no girls here? What was the story with this girl? Uh, I was dispatched to uh, relieve swing shift, picked her up at Tropicana for defrauding a taxi cab. She refused to pay a bill, saying that she was driving around town for two hours. She said she's only in the cab for half an hour. Oh, it was two hours. Great, thank you. I'm in jail on a Tuesday? Party animal. I don't have any priors. You were here five hours ago. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thinking it's funny. You said no priors here five hours ago. You see my nails, yeah. by the way? I did notice your nails. Probably. Who else? You know I have a cupcake tattooed on my ass? Oh, my Don't God. Wait, you got a cupcake tattooed on your butt? Yeah, that's my name, Cupcake. <laughs> so why, why on your butt? Why? So people can frost it? Is she done with medical? Are you done? Okay, look it. You got an OR. OK. <laughs> Defrauding an innkeeper. You don't have to post bill. It's the fastest way out of here. You just have to promise to appear in court, OK? So fill out the highlighted areas, and you'll be out of here in about six hours. Six hours? I'm so hungry. Uh, well, you get breakfast here. It's not chicken nuggets. Can I pay you guys to get out of here quicker? Do I look like a John to you? <laughs> have a seat on that back row, Cupcake. Okay? Yes, ma'am. Threatening me. You should probably get off that crack. Find me somebody else to talk to. I don't want to talk to no crackhead. Just shut the f up talking to me, bitch. Please. <laughs> stupid hoe. Next time you call me a stupid hoe, you better watch out. Stupid hoe. She called me a hoe. <laughs> <laughs> this is you. <laughs> I'm not on crack. I heard it from over there, but you do know you can lose your OR based on your behavior in order, okay? Okay, no more talking smack, no more getting out of your seat, just follow the rules, okay? How many more hours do I have left? I don't really want chicken nuggets. You haven't even been here for one. So like I said, it'll probably take about six hours with your OR, okay? I don't know, he just came in. He's been like that since he walked in. If he stays as loud as he is, he's going to end up getting removed. Let's go get screened by medical. Gotta get a big hug and a kiss, too good looking. How's he first row? Oh, ooh, is he first? Oh, no. I got to sit down to hug and kiss now. I just can't stand up. Hitchhike. Oh, he scares me. Get off the oh track. <laughs> Take the back seat, you good looking. No, it's just a little bit too disrespectful to me. Here, stand up for me, but to the side of the show. I was just giving you, I was just trying to make a show. You know, I'm sorry. Okay. So when you went to call him up, he just immediately started making the obscene yeah, gestures and obscene. comments. He wanted to call, he wanted a kiss and hug, and um, I can put up there. He's been here many times before, so I know who he is. 
gentleman's come in intoxicated, being belligerent. Uh, he's out there actually making sexual advances towards our medical staff. So we need to get him out of the area before he sets anybody else off. Right, go down to your knee, bud. Don't move until the door shuts. You need to go sit down and sober up a little bit, ma'am. Chrissy! What? What's going on with you today? Are you on anything? No, I'm high on life. Yeah? I think I'm a big stud. I'm just such a stud that nothing can get in my way. Not even a cell door. I'm Superman! <laughs> just joking her. No, I, I just want to have a normal not. conversation with you. Can I you have a normal conversation? Huh? Remember how disrespectful you were being? You make every female in here upset with you. You weren't being very nice. No, I wasn't. I said, hi, honey, how you doing? I, I, I treat women like, you know, like, uh, really good because I hear they're delicate. Have you been drinking today? Six out of beer, good milking. Oh. Huggy, smuggy, kissy, wissy. I was drinking hard alcohol or anything. Chris, go ahead and have a seat for me. You know, I was drinking, uh, freaking, uh, tequila sunrises or... Let's get one thing straight. Oh, okay. I don't want to go to that next level. We have rules, regulations, and the way you speak to people, and you don't talk to them in that uh, frame of mind. And that I wasn't trying to try pick up on it. I was just trying to cheer him up a little bit and just make him realize. Well, when you try to realize this, how you doing? When you come in here, well, I want you to be respectful. Okay. You came out way too strong to her. Okay. Sorry. I, I like to be really respectful. Okay. Shh, quiet time. Quiet time. Uh, you want, let's you want, practice you want that. Do you want to go ask Christina if, if you want to do it again and try it again? We can do that. Okay. Just stay here, relax. We'll bring you on shortly, okay? That seems a lot better than when we first came in. That's all. Nice and calm. That's how we like it. That's good. Yeah. All right, Petra, come here. You're going to sit right here for the money you have? Here and here for your property. There's your one charge. OK. Misdemeanor. You're going to be out on an OR, so you won't be in here for very much longer, OK? Grab your paperwork. Let's go. Into the next room. Have a seat in the first row. If you need something, you raise your hand and ask the officers first. She was funny, but after a while, it was very hard to believe any of her stories. And she got to the point where she was definitely going to lose her OR. And she'll be back again, and she'll give us more stories, so. Las Vegas is 24 hours. It's an adult playground. People come here on vacations. A lot of people come into jail, and they're actually quite surprised that they got arrested. They think prostitution is legal here. They see these girls walking around. They're caught up, and boom, they get to put a trip to the county jail in their tourist book of things they did in Vegas. You do, you do drugs up? Right? No, alcoholic. Are you alcoholic? Yes. I drink a gallon of gin a day. What else do you do? Just no, you don't do any tweak at all? No. No? Have you ever? Yes. Yeah? When did you stop? Um, probably maybe five years ago. Spread your feet for me. Since I have no underwear on, I could get a pair of pants, please. So you're wearing nothing under the dress? Yes, ma'am. All right, Gina, step over here with me. Sure. I want you to walk all the way down, sit in the last chair, or if medical calls you up first. All right, how'd you come in contact with her? Oh, uh, we received a call from a security guard, female knocking on different doors in an apartment complex. He stopped her to trespass her um, and called us to come facilitate the tra uh, trespass. Okay. She ended up having some warrants, so we brought her down on our warrants. What was she doing knocking on all the doors, did she ever say? She was out turning tricks, according to her. Is the word she used is tricks. All right, well, thank you. Do you think by chance, since I have no underwear on, I could get a pair of pants, please? How come tell you don't have any on? There's some fishnet nylons in there, too, Is in there? case I got to change for later. So, we should, oh, so maybe we, there was a possibility that we were going to be working tonight? There you go. There's always a possibility you're going to be working. OK, when an opportunity rolls your way, we just go with it. You got to be prepared. The condoms, the high heels, the fishnets, you got to be prepared. So how many clients would you work with in a night? Yeah. Maybe three, so you figure you're pulling in 300 bucks, 400 bucks a night. Do you work every day? No. So do you bring them to your home? No. No, no, no. Get like a little, bring to your home. a little weekly or something? No, I have a fifth wheel. A fifth wheel. Oh, oh, so it's a mobile. It's a mobile motel. Pose on wheels. Pose on wheels. <laughs> I mean, you should get your own website, right? I think we're ready to get processed.
It, I'd have like a glamour shot or something. You look great. Hold your head straight, though. You don't want a crooked mug shot. Very good. OK. Perfect. You did great. So how much do you drink a day? A gallon of seagulls gin a day. No, you do not. Yes, and I keep my bottle in my hand at all times because it's my weapon of choice. No. It cracks in my head with it. It never breaks. Let me ask you something. Are you drinking the gin because you enjoy it, or are you an al do you have a problem? Yeah. I'm an alcoholic. Are you? I'm an alcoholic. Okay. What happens, how soon after you, that last drink wears off do you start having problems? Depends on how quick you wake up. OK. OK. <laughs> I want you to put these on. Awesome. Step back over here. Thank you. I'm going to close. Really wear these? Well, you're not wearing any underwear, so I brought them for you. No G-strings included? These no, are like... we don't have. We have granny panties. It's a good look for you. I love the color blue. Oh, okay. okay. I don't need yeah. Not I got plenty of booty to fit in. OK, you got plenty of booty to fill them in. Yeah. OK. I... No, I don't have to stay in here. Bring my okay. back. My back hurts, too. Right, you're going to come. must be laying on my back all day. It makes it hurt. OK. Back around and have a seat in that chair until we're ready to have you sign for your property. Do you ever give a fake name, or do you always truthful? I've never given a fake name. I don't, use, I don't even use a fake name when I'm out there. That just opens up a um, whole can of worms. I figure if you're using a fake name out there with a client, then what are you doing, robbing them? Why can't you be who you are? Well, you're still providing a service. You're just doing it with a different name. My name's Miss Gina. I'm OK with it. I'm all Miss right. Gina. Miss Gina. Here's a copy of your charges. Same old station thing, one to the next, right? When they call your name, stand up, go visit them. When you need to get up for something, you raise your hand. Thank you. You're welcome. So this is my pay charge, right? It is. Keep okay. that with you. This I'm not, they're not, they're not going to award me, right? No, not on a failure to appear warrant, no. I don't think so. You'll see the judge in a couple of days. Oh, I just went in, yeah. I'll go to sleep, yeah, right? your money, yeah. Yeah. Get so can I get a drink before I sit down? Yes, you may. Thank you. OK. Good luck. Thanks. All right, so Gina's pretty prepared. She already had her phone numbers of people she needed to talk to to um, put money on her books. No, you need to have a seat first. The phone system's different, Gina. You're going to have to register. OK. So well, good luck to her, I guess. County Detention Center. We actually rotate positions and posts so that we become really familiar with the areas that we're working. So you're familiar enough that if somebody needs help in another area, you're able to go to that situation and give them the help that they may need immediately. Will you tell me? No. We can't sign for your money if, if you don't tell us where it's at. He just passed it. <laughs> he found it. You know what? Screw you. Wow, ma'am, you're being so obnoxious. I'm being a bitch. I'm being a bitch. Why? Because I'm old and I don't need to be here. You don't want to be here? Because no. it's gross? Yes. It's OK. It's not going to be I called gonna... for help, and this is where I am. Well, how did your car just like I don't know. I don't, know. I I don't, don't know. It's a shift, I, and I rolled into a Mercedes. Have you ever had an accident before? No. you got to go get your blood uh, drawn. OK? Oh, that's hard. My veins roll. Oh, well, they're really, really good at what they do. Come here. This way. She's admitted to having two glasses of wine. You hit a Mercedes? I rolled in the Mercedes. I called you guys for help. And here I am. Two glasses of wine. Don't move. You're really good. So Thank why you. do you? Why we got to get one more. Just relax. I'm not having a problem. You having a problem? No, I'm not. Duh. I'm sober. I'm the soberest person you've ever arrested. I bet I'm more sober. What? I got a mouth. A little bit. A little sailor. I'm 72. Uh, I can say you, anything I want. You're old enough to do that. You're right. You're damn right I am. I am damn right on that. You're damn right. I'm probably one of the nicest people you've ever arrested. You're close. What do you think? Yeah? Am I really? Yeah. Oh, that hurts. Yeah, but we're all done. Yeah, but that hurts. Well, it's going to happen. It's a needle in your skin. Kind of a pistol. We're going to keep you around your for dreams. entertainment. You're fun. And you have to take two. Because <laughs> you had two glasses. We'll go out and have a drink sometime. What are all those girls out there? Are they prostitutes? Some. Some? Mm hmm Can I figure out which ones? No. <laughs> Let's not play Waldo that game when we well, go out there. Where's Waldo again? Right over here, look. Okay. She's got the seat waiting for oh you. My God. Last row with the other females all the way at the end. Have a seat. What happened? She called you guys? She uh, was picking up her car at the valet at the Palms after, I don't know what she said. She had something to eat and some wine. And she rolled into the car in front of her. Mm-hmm. And the car in front of her was a Mercedes convertible. Oh, so she called the police to get a police report come. 
Right. Uh, there wasn't very much damage to the Mercedes, but mm. well, if she had got out on the street, it could have been a lot worse. So. Absolutely, yeah. All right, thank you. Sir. Sure. It was funny when she first sat down, she was asking all the girls, you're all so young, how old are you, how old are you, how old are you? Well, she wants to know if they're all prostitutes. And she says she's going to spend her time in here figuring out who is and who isn't. And you what? You stood on the corner and he came up to you? Is that how No, it I was walking down the street. He stopped for me. I give I give this the car. Why would you do that? Wow, I cannot believe that she is seriously talking. She's such a nice lady, and she's seriously talking to her as if she's going to change her life and get her to not do what she does. <laughs> Okay, you're done. We'll call okay. you back in here in a little bit. I'm working on her. All right, is it working? Well, I don't know. Does she care that you're telling her? I don't think so. Okay, well, go work not on positive. her some more. I'm Let me know positive. later, all right? Okay, go, go, go sit back where you were. Okay, come here. Give me a break. It probably really is. Listen up for your name out here, because they're going to call you a few times, okay? Can I get a drink of water? Sure. Did you end up saving anybody back there, do you think? I worked. I worked so hard on yeah. her. I thought I had a little bit of time. Yeah. I said, no, you don't have to be like your mother. Right. And I said, go to school. You go to school. You go to the counselor. You get your GED. They'll give you money. Right. You don't want to do this. Right. 50 bucks. Yeah. 50 well, bucks. No. Well, you know what, Sharon? Good luck, OK? I'll try. All right. Thank you. See you later. I think out here, she might be able to, like, maybe she'll have a little more time and she can maybe get her point across to some of them. I'm not sure. I don't know. She is a kick. Before I started here, I used to train and breed Arabian show horses back east for our family. We had about 118 horses at one time. Needed a little bit of a change. Started to raise a family and decided to uh, look into law enforcement. And an opportunity arose here in Las Vegas and been here for 12 years now. What's going on with you today? I got to find my girl and she beat the shit out of me and I ended up getting arrested for it. Yeah. And you have been here before? <laughs> Being drunk and stupid, and that's why uh, I quit drinking three years ago. You did? Yep. I don't drink no more, and I go to school for criminal justice, actually. Are just, you? Yep. You are awfully smiley. You don't do any drugs or happy pills, do you? No, I'm just no, a very you're just happy. A happy person? It's just different to see someone smiling and not crying walking put, in here. Put that on. Okay. Put it on? Yeah. yeah, go ahead. Okay, thank you. I get to be a tap out girl. A tap out girl? <laughs> you are funny. I'll give yeah. you that. Yeah. Leave it to my mom. Oh, my God. Yep. Yeah, that is a little tight, huh? Were we out at a party or something? Or? So I went to wrestling last night, so. All right, here we go. Second row, all the way down, last seat. Keep that uh, happy, cold lucky spirit, all right? Yeah, no problem. So what happened with this guy? Too? We received a call, domestic violence. Uh, we made contact with him. He said he had a verbal argument with his girlfriend. What she said is that they woke up this morning, he wanted to have sex with her, and she refused. So then he uh, got on top of her, which um, they then fell to the floor. He once again then got on top of her. She uh, ended up biting him on the chest. Yeah. OK, thanks. Okay. Yeah. OK, just look up here for me. I vote? I want that big smile that you came in with. There you go. Excellent. OK, turn to the window. Stand right there. All right, hold that. Hold the smile. Or right there. Perfect. All right, go ahead and have a seat right there. Minimum mandatory 12-hour hold. Battery domestic violence charge, OK? Go ahead and uh, take your glasses off real quick. Go through your hair like you're washing it. Lift your shirt up in the front, all the way up. OK, wow. That's a big bite mark. Is that where she bit you? Wow, she got you good, huh? Look, I pulled away before right. she broke the skin. Yeah. Well, here we go. You got all that done. You're in good shape. You sound like you know what's going on. Like the attitude, all right? Keep that going. Keep your spirits up. It's only a misdemeanor crime, OK? OK. So come on out, and we'll get you going here. 
First three rows, okay? Good luck to you, Jose. Thanks. Right Jose got a battery domestic. Obviously, he took a pretty serious bite mark to his chest. Jose seems to do okay. He's got a real good attitude and probably the happiest guy I've seen come in jail in a long time, so that's good. And the doors open up and they leave me outside. I'm gonna go home to my family tonight. I've been thinking about my home. I've been thinking about my needs. I don't want